how are we? It's Mr. E here, and this video will review factoring in the following three scenarios. Greatest common factor, difference of perfect squares, and trinomials where A equals 1. So let's go over greatest common factor first. So these are two separate problems. Whenever you're going to do um, greatest common factor, you need one set of parentheses. So one set of parentheses. I hope I spelled parentheses right. So to factor 4x to the fifth minus 32x squared, I'm going to write one set of parentheses. And there is my set. So now the next step is to find the greatest common factor of all the terms in the polynomial. So the greatest common factor of 4 and 32 is 4. So 4 is going to go outside of the parentheses. And what you want to do is when all the terms have a variable, factor out the variable with the lowest exponent. So the variable with the lowest exponent, as you can see here, is x squared. So you want to factor out x squared. So factor out an x squared. Now look, you only factor out a variable if all the terms have a variable. Alright, now, what goes inside of the parentheses? What goes inside of the parentheses, well, you have to think backwards, right? 4x squared multiplied by what will give me 4x to the fifth? And that would be 4x squared multiplied by x to the third. So what I'm saying is if I were to distribute that 4x squared to the x to the third, it, would, it should come back to 4x to the fifth. And then 4x squared multiplied by what? So 4x squared multiplied by what will give me negative 32x squared. And then that would be multiplied by negative 8. So I'll put subtract 8. And that's my final answer. I'm done. And you can always check by distributing the 4x squared and making sure it comes back to the original 4x to the fifth minus 32x squared. And you can see that it does. Let's try the second one. So again, you want to factor out the GCF. You want to, you want, well, actually, I take that back. Since this is GCF factoring, you know it's going to be one set of parentheses. So I should write my one set of parentheses. Now you want to factor out the GCF. So the GCF of 25 and 125 is 25. So I'm going to put a 25 outside of the parentheses. Now you're going to notice that I didn't factor out a variable. And that's because both terms do not have the variable. So I'm not going to factor out the variable. So I'm going to, I'm going to write this down here because this is, this is very, very important. All right. Only factor out a variable if all the terms have the variable. That's important. All right? So I didn't have to factor out a variable here because the 125 doesn't have it. All right, now let's fill out the inside of the parentheses. So 25 times x minus 5 will give me back the original. And that's my final answer. And you could check it by distributing the 25, and it should come back to the original. All right, so that's my final answer. All right, so important, right? When you do GCF factoring, it's just one set of parentheses.
All right, now on to difference of perfect squares. Difference of perfect squares, you need two sets of parentheses. So that's important. So let's begin by writing our two sets of parentheses. All right, so you want to write two sets of parentheses. All right, now you want to... So, you know, we've, we've done this before, right? This is just a quick review. Um, you want to take the square root, so you want to factor the perfect squares by finding the square roots. So we're going to take the square root of 9, that's 3. So inside of the parentheses, we'll have x minus 3 and x plus 3. Where is my x plus 3? It's in there somewhere. Just probably have to move that for a second. There it is, and I can move it back. So that's my final answer. Um, the second one says 25x squared minus 16. So again, take the square roots. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of 16 is 4. Write your two sets of parentheses. So there are my two sets of parentheses. Since the square root of 25 is 5, I'm going to have 5x and 5x. And the square root of 16 is 4, so I'll have 5x plus 4. And I'm just going to move that for a second there. And 5x minus 4. And that's my final answer. And again, you know, the way to check these is by, in this case, you're going to have to FOIL, FOIL this out and, you know, make sure it comes back to the original. Okay, let's try one more. So trinomials, you need two sets of parentheses. Two sets of parentheses. All right, that's important. So here we're being asked to factor. I think I just have to move some stuff around here. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just make this font smaller. There we go. So I got to factor this. So write two sets of parentheses. Find the factors of C that combine to give you B. So here's my two sets of parentheses. And it's going to be x minus 8 and x plus 3. Negative 8 times 3 is negative 24, and then negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So in conclusion, GCF factoring, you need one set of parentheses. Difference of perfect squares and your trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus C, they should say plus C, sorry about that. You need two sets of parentheses. All right, so it's very important to know the difference. So so if you see something like, like this, you know it's going to be one set of parentheses. If you see something like this, you know you need two sets of parentheses. And same thing here, you know this needs two sets of parentheses. All right. Very important for you to know the difference. I hope this video helps. Take care.